Hello, it's Madhu here. Today, we are going to discuss about how we can create super user, how we can run and collect static, how we can run and make migrations, and lastly, how we can migrate that migration. Let's get started. Here we have the project. This is Django project and we are going to do all that in Django project. Now let's start with how to collect statics, uh, uh, static. So we I control C to exit and then I say python manage.py collect statics static collect collect static it ender When you look at uh, our statics, at, we have two. We have this one, the original, and we have another one that has come. When you run collect static in Django, what happened is that all the images, JavaScript that were stored in the root folder, it actually uh, are transferred into the static folder that is created. but only the difference it is in the static that has been created by now the folder uh, actually by the by the collecting static formula or a, a, a command it has got a mean that is on the difference others they are the same okay now next is to create let's go to terminal and uh, next is to create the super user how do we do that we do create super user in Django project like this Python manage that py create this are uh, one word create super user python manage.py create super user it ender did you mean create super user that is typo In manage so let's go back and uh, remove that one come here Create super user. Create super user. There is type of error here. Super. Yeah. Yeah. Create super. Super user. Then 
Yeah, so a uh, username admin. Admin and min that is already taken and then after that you are you are, you are pro, uh, because this project is already having an, uh, a user super user you will uh, 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 provoked after you have entered the name such as admin then next thing you will be uh, told to enter the number or the password and then after you are handed the first time you are being to be uh, 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 directed to re-enter uh, uh, that password for the for the uh, 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 verification now that being done let's go and create another thing that is called migrations when we migrate our model the migrations it is like a temple that is going to be actually created in the database let's see and appreciate how it works python manage dot py make migrations make migrations No changes. If there is migration that has come, because already I have uh, I have transported this uh, some of migration into database. If there is migration that is going to come, we shall know and we shall do it. Now the next thing is to make this migration now to go to the database because we have made them and we make them to go to the database by Python manage that be why migrate that is the formula and it end and no migration to apply because we have not done anything new apart from that we uh, we, we committed to the python database or backend now let's look at the the backend and how, how can we get into the database because we have created our user name, we can as admin, we can go admin, we are admin, and uh, admin, and hit enter. Uh -huh. There is a problem, and the problem is here. We have to run this one. Python manage dot p y say run server and yes when you come to our website now we can look at admin Let me refresh. Then we come here and say admin. Stock admin. Then we run. And there we go. This is administration. And this is where we are going to be handling our data and everything that is concerning the data. It is going to be handled here. For example, we have category. And we have categories. We can hand data. And that is the time category, slang, description, the thing that we did that last time. It is all this. Having said that, we don't waste your time. Welcome and let's meet next time. Refreshed and have energized. Goodbye. See you then.